Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for your Monday morning episode of Bob TV, baby. Alright guys, we went we snuck out to the flying field and went flying yesterday. Alright. But it was extremely overcast, real dark clouds. And uh you know, camera cameraman Calvin was running a bit late. So, well, we'll get a flight on it before he got there. And, man, you want to talk about a plane that disappeared. Whew. It was all right at the south end. You know, it usually gets dark at the south end. You know, it just turns black. But it, for, yesterday, it showed up really good at the south end. The north end, it's completely disappeared. Just completely. So, I, I, you know, flew the flight and... And I made the best landing that I've ever made with this jet. Oh, you want to talk about a grease job down the center of the runway. But uh, <coughs> I didn't fly it anymore. But I figured out what was wrong with the nose gear. Okay, yesterday morning, I was working on this. Before we went to the flying field, I thought I was hitting this gear door hinge that was over here. Okay. And... Uh, I just pulled the landing gear up and put it back in the trailer. Well, it, it didn't have no air in it. It wasn't locked. So uh, even on that little block I had it on, it folded up and knocked my gear doors off. So I thought, no big deal. We'll uh, fly it today and I'll fix it tonight. But And then I figured my gear door, my nose gear would retract. Nope, still didn't retract. It was hanging out by that far. I thought, what is going on? So I landed, figured out it wasn't the gear doors. I pulled the cockpit off, looked at the bottom. See that little mark right there? That's where it's been hitting. On the bottom of the cockpit. It just ain't even close. I got to cut a big old chunk out. It looks like just out of the corner. See right there where it was rubbing? At least I don't have to go way back there. But I got to go down about an inch. It's hard to see it. Where's my flashlight? I actually have to go about a, about an inch deep. You can't even hardly see the servo. I'm trying to get you a shot of it here. Without too much glare. <laughs> you working. See over there, see the servo? There it is. Uh, I need to come about an inch this way. Because I can see where it's starting to hit, right there. See that little mark? That's where it's hitting. So that's where I need to cut it straight across there. And then go down about an inch from that lip. Man, you'd think they'd make these cockpit tubs fit. <laughs> you know, they go through all the work. And then don't put them in there and try them. <laughs> you know, Skymaster's really the worst. They must have these done somewhere else. I don't know, you put a fly eagle cockpit in and it fits. See around right here. I need to chop this out and go way down here, but it's under the dash. See that little screw right there is the stick. See the stick in there? So it won't be visible. We'll just have to chop it out. We're not going to do the leading edge slats, guys. 
just uh, we're gonna bypass them. And <laughs> there's just uh, I get not a lot of these out with leading edge slats. I've seen a lot of these jets fly, and they sure land nice without them. So we're just gonna go for it. Take the experimental step out. <laughs> I think this would work good though for a, a gapless slat. See guys, these hornets don't come out like uh, an F-86 sp uh, a slat. They, they just fold down and they're hinged from the top. I'm almost positive that's pretty scale. You know. I got to do some chopping. Let me get this fixed. Get the glue doors, gear doors put back on it. And get it put away. feet off <laughs> and now I can get any chunks out that's out of my cockpit you know you always got that one little piece of crud floating around in there that you can't get out all right I'm gonna have a retracting nose wheel guys I don't even gain 10, 20 mile an hour. But yeah, man, you want to talk about disappearing. I could see it when I was going into the turn. And about halfway through the turn, when I started, the nose started coming, you know, my way. Bam, it just disappeared. You just kind of, kind of hold what you had. And, you know, let it get coming to you. And then slowly level out your wings and then let it come back into view again. That's kind of a scary feeling. <laughs> Everyone else was saying, oh man, where'd it go? Where'd it go? With that totally dark overcast day. I mean, it was a dark overcast too. It was like... Storm clouds almost, you know. Flight on her yesterday and called it good. Oh, but man, that was the prettiest landing I ever made. You guys should have seen it. You want to talk about a pretty landing? Oh, just a frickle more.
Just a freckle. And that's all. Let's go all the way across. Do this without dropping. <laughs> Do 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 do. Bam, it's gonna work now, guys. Now his dang jeans are sticking. Dang coveralls is sticking out. I'm gonna have to glue them bad boys in there. That's all I need is for them to hang up that servo to where it won't come down. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a little CA in right there. Tuck them underneath, put a drop of CA on it. Okay, let's try this again. Man, I'm going to have a retracted nose wheel, guys. I'm excited. We should be good to go. There we go, baby. Yeah, I was always catching about right there. And with the gear door against it, it looked like it was hitting this hinge. So, see, I moved it over a little bit closer to this side yesterday. Now that's probably going to haunt me. Only if the wheels are turned, if they're straight, they should be fine. Bam, that was the issue, hitting the cockpit floor. You know, that thought never crossed my mind. Hmm. I should, but you know, I retracted that thing up and down, but I never did it with the cockpit on it. You know, at home here, that was my mistake. So, guys. Let's all learn a lesson from this. <laughs> you put a new jet together, put the canopy on it, and retract the gear. I'm not going to end up dropping this next thing.
some air through there and get them chunks out. Now I just got to glue the gear work back on. Didn't really do no damage. See, because I put, well, I put Kevlar on the inside of these doors. <laughs> it just popped the hinges off. Them doors is tough. And then pop this one off. Glue them bad boys just right back on there. And I'll be good to go with a retracting nose wheel. But I'm going to get this thing glued back together and uh, get to building some wings today. Guys, I, I could be glassing in a day or two. And uh, probably could be. I'm just going to do is sand them flaps, get them hinged, and uh, give them a good sanding. Cut out another servo pocket. I'm going to have them ready to glass in there too. So we'll be back with more from the shop.